school. Got him on the top water right there. This time I cast. You want to cast? Okay, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is deer meat for dinner, and today is a little daddy-daughter day. We're out here at a little pond. We're gonna try to catch some peacock bass, and if we catch one and it's in good health, we're gonna put it in the back of the truck in an aerated well. We're gonna take it up to the ranch. We're gonna turn it loose on our private property. Get a bait, honey. Come on, let's get a bait. It's okay if I get wet. It's okay if you get wet. Just get me one bait. Got one. Here you go, put it in my hand. And look what we're gonna do here. Take them right there and just hook them right in the lips, just like that. Now. Is he still alive? Oh yeah, he's still alive. Okay, baby. I'm gonna throw it out for you just to help you out. There. Now, if he gets bit, you know what to do, okay? If you see your cork go down, you start reeling. This is the skinniest peacock bass I've ever caught in my life. It's like there's not enough food in here for him. I'm gonna take him back to our place and see if we can get him back to health, get him nice and healthy. Hey there. Good, good, good. No, no, stay right here, baby. And they said they don't want us to fish here. All right. Sorry about that. All right. All no right. worries. So that kind of stinks. We've been here. We've fished this spot a pile of times in the past. Never had an issue. But the cop, very nice lady, she told us about a spot that we're going to go try that out. So have you ever had a problem fishing there? Nah. I've fished there for like two, three years now too. Yeah? Never had a problem. Kills me. Looks <laughs> looks pretty good. She might have turned us on to something good. The uh, the cop was like, "Yeah, just go fish over there." So, fish here. Yeah. <laughs> are you excited to go fishing here? Yep. Yeah. This is her little tiny Mag's custom rod with some five dollar reel. And I'm gonna try to catch a peacock on it. Go. No way, what you got? I got a peacock. Oh. Peacock. Dude, that's a nice fish. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, dude, that's a giant. What are you talking about? He was being real small when he first did. Look at, look at the colors in that fish. Are you? Dude, hooked right perfect, man. Look at the color in that fish. Okay, so I've got to give a huge shout out to my brother, Blue Gabe. We've been down here fishing live shiners and he's like, no, you're using the wrong bait. Use a white jig. Jordy, watch this. Got him. Look at that, y'all. Look at that beautiful fish. Hi, you guys. So we've been having a ball and we just came over here to Jordan's house. See that little lure right there? A little fan of mine, a great little kid, his name's Waylon. He gave me this lure at a meet and greet about a year ago and I promised him I was gonna use it in a video. And guess what? We're about to use it. Not only this, I've also got the old Zoom Frog. See if we can't catch a couple large mouth bass to put in with peacock. Come on. Did you see that? Those cichlids were just biting it on the tail. Got him. Oh, 
won the frog, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Beautiful largemouth. He's going to be in a beautiful new home. Oh. Peacock bass is doing great. The peacock bass is like doing great, great, great. Whose car is that? Brian and Yolandi. Who? Brian and Yolandi. <laughs> so I got one on the frog. Now Waylon, this is for you, buddy. him on the top water right there nice fish come on baby look at that look at that yeah boy look at this look at that bass Yeah, boys. Awesome fish. It's got a little blade on the back, a couple small treble hooks, a couple rattles. You know, the fact that a fan thought enough to give me this makes it so cool that now I'm out here making a video with it. Twitch, twitch, twitch. Stop it. Twitch, 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 stop it. Twitch, 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 twitch. Like that. Gosh. But not as well. Dude, come on, did y'all see that? I know. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is not real. Got him right there. This is <laughs> not real. That was the coolest fish ever. Come here. Oh, he's barely hooked. Come here. Come here. He's barely hooked. That was the coolest topwater bite I've ever seen in my life. I literally just kept hitting it on the water. That is so cool. All right, this is the last one that we're gonna take back, and his name is Slam. That's so awesome. Hi, Am. Love you. I love you, Dad. All right, you guys. So, to say this video has been crazy is an understatement, but now we have a bunch of awesome fish. And we don't wanna just take them and throw them into that water. We're gonna gently start adding this pond water, drain it off the bottom, and we're gonna slowly add water from this pond into here. And what that will do is it will gradually get these fish adjusted to that water so that when we take them out of here and put them in there, they're good. And guess what? I brought my mask and fins. I'm jumping in and we're gonna watch what happens. <sighs> Juicy.
Okay, you get, you get a peacock. Okay, maybe you don't, you don't. Hold on. Okay, here we go. All right. Man, they look super healthy. Like just turning them loose, they look super healthy and I think they're gonna be a, a great addition to the pond. See the alligator over there? Look straight through. See the alligator over there, Ma? Look. Look through the tree. Look through the tree, straight in the water. Oh. Hey, Dad! Oh. Huh. Get See that out. alligator right there? Get out. This is just a thriving ecosystem. We've got all the beautiful Dad. vegetation, fish, We've even got alligators, man. What an awesome place. Oh my gosh, really? Drop out more water. You gonna do another one or no? Okay, here we go. Time to turn loose the peacock. He's a fighter. Close and watch out there. God, I saw Rob's fin just then and I thought it was alligator behind him. I about just had a heart attack. Oh my god. Again, 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 Dad. Again? Okay. You guys keep an eye out for the alligators, right? They can't, the alligators can't get close to them. So this is really cool. As soon as I turned him loose, he went down into the bottom of the lake. And the bottom is a lot cooler, a lot colder water than up here. He went down, he's like, never mind. And he came right back up here into this warmer water. So that's pretty cool. Can swim for our half pond? Thank you. Only don't A baby one. They're cute, huh? I will hold the baby one. Let's keep them for our house. Can I hold it? At our house. Yeah. Can I hold the baby with you? Oh. No. Yeah. I'm just getting pulled out of the water. They're feisty, boy, but they look really healthy. I think they're gonna do great in here. They're super feisty. You guys, that was about as fun as it gets. Went out, spent the day with my daughter and a bunch of friends, caught a bunch of fish, and then transplanted them to the pond on the ranch. Once we were done with that, which that was a huge success, we came here and we put three very small peacock bass into our pond here at the house. All three of them seem to be doing really well. One day later, they're already eating little shiners and uh, just makes for a really cool backyard 
spot to hang out with my family and watch the fish. Now, if you enjoy this, please drop a thumbs up, leave a comment on other things you'd like to see us do. But I promise you, there will be much more. Just not today, because that's all I got for you. I do love you, I do appreciate you, and we are gone.